level of ascension are embodying the trinitized form. Okay, so the trinitized form is if you can look, think of this time matrix as a female out of a trinity. Okay, so what they, what, this is another whole cosmology of understanding why we're masculine and polarity is that this is actually the feminine female, the magnetic counterpart of the trinity of our original wholeness. So in terms of the in-breath, out-breath of God, the physics of that, what happened is, is think of a trinity, like a matrix, a trinity energy, three waves of energy, one of which I don't even know how to describe because right now we have electromagnetic, right? So we are now being hooked into the trinity form of our original species. So, so apparently the way they're saying it is, is that we were in a tri-form, a trinity, the outbreath of God put in two byways, one masculine, one feminine. And when that happened, our universe is in the feminine counterpart of that polarity split. Mm -hmm. And as we actually come into our wholeness, and we can think of this as the anti-particle particle universe. So another way to think of it too is, is the ninth through the 15th dimension is the anti-particle universe and the seven through the first down here is the particle universe. So what's happening is we're drawing in energies of our antiparticle double. And as we do so, we become a trinity. And that trinity becomes a tri-wave instead of a bi-wave form. So we've been an electromagnetic kind of system in terms of how energy works. And so what they've described is this larger system is the female. We are here to embody and to correct and heal the female attributes of God's source. And we can see by looking at the external of our planet that we've been very masculine polarized. <laughs> so we're bringing in the female, which is yin, receiving, intuitive, creation. It's a different aspect of God's source. This, as the female portion, we're here to heal that by bringing and merging with our male, which is the antiparticle, the electrical, electrical component of the magnetic part and in that union, we become a trinity and whole again. So this is happening at the universal level. It's happening, you know, macro, micro, at every every level, of wow. fractal spinning. So right now, they're saying uh, we're we're moving into what's called the trinitized form. That was my newsletter for June, and it's included in our workbook to help us understand that we're now even going beyond planetary ascension. Those of us are now agreeing to hold the trinity wave. And this is to, again, assist this planet in its wholeness as fast as possible. So, again, just to thank you, thank you for all that you do. Oh, and just to kind right. of understand the immensity, it's really profound. But that makes right more now. sense when you describe it. I read it sometimes and I get too mind-oriented. But that makes, like, the way you visually did it. That makes sense. Oh, thank you. Thank you, because it's a hard one to kind of, like, <laughs> like it's, it's mind -blowing. Blowing. <laughs> It's very mind-blowing. It's, um, they, they have definitely been giving me a lot more information at another level. And um, I think, and many of you, some of you know personally that I've been in contact with a new level of beings that are now sourced from the 14th dimension. And these beings are telling, explaining to me in ways it's very hard for me to attempt to explain it. But they're saying the 14th dimension is very much like the 8th dimension in that it's a galactic center and portal that is a center of a particular time matrix. And they're calling this the transharmonic universe, which again is the tri-wave. It's about to try this trinity energy. And it expands outward. And my point of connection with them is here. And so this is a different level of information that they're describing about our evolution process as a species and what's going on at this time and all the players involved. So that's been my personal initiation. So everyone, I mean, we're constantly, it never ends, you know, <laughs> in terms of our evolution and our growing and our, our expanding never ends. It just keeps on going. So, you know, I, I think with you, you're, you're getting, you said yes, you know, you said I'll, I'll do it. And uh, you're going through a very intense period of time where your body is getting, your, because what we're doing is we're physicalizing it. It's not about leaving our body and going to the 14th dimension. It's literally about embodying it. Because the more we embody and draw the energies into this sphere, the more they get here. They can't get here unless we embody them. 
So because of the nature of the imbalances that's happening right now, a lot of us have agreed to hold on and bring in a ton of energy. And, and that's what we're doing. We're placement holders of that energy. And then it expands out and helps stabilize the planet and move into the larger fields for the rest of the human race.